Hello friends, in today's video, we shall see the mathematical derivation of the elasticity of substitution for a CES production function which is 1 by 1 minus rho. We have already seen the general form of a CES production function which is q is equal to a alpha k raised to rho plus 1 minus alpha l raised to rho the whole raised to 1 by rho. Since the whole function is raised to the power 1 by rho, here we use the generalized power function rule that is if y is equal to the function of x the whole raised to n then dy by dx will be derivative of f of x the whole raised to n by dx multiplied by f dash x that is in the first term we use the power rule and in the second term we have differentiated f of x with respect to x. So using the generalized power function rule we need to differentiate q with respect to labor and capital. So del q by del l will be 1 by rho multiplied by a alpha k raised to rho plus 1 minus alpha l raised to rho the whole raised to 1 by rho minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus alpha rho l raised to rho minus 1. Here we have taken this term as x raised to n and we have applied the power rule here that is n into x raised to n minus 1 in order to get this term and for the second term we have differentiated this equation with respect to labor. Here rho and rho will get cancelled out and we get MPL is equal to A alpha K raised to rho plus 1 minus alpha L raised to rho the whole raised to 1 by rho minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus alpha L raised to rho minus 1. Similarly we have to find out the marginal productivity of capital that is del Q by del K is equal to 1 by rho multiplied by A alpha K raised to rho plus 1 minus alpha L raised to rho the whole raised to 1 by rho minus 1 multiplied by alpha rho k raised to rho minus 1. Here also rho and rho will get cancelled out and we get MPK is equal to A alpha k raised to rho plus 1 minus alpha L raised to rho the whole raised to 1 by rho minus 1 multiplied by alpha k raised to rho minus 1. Now we know MRTS of labor for capital is equal to MPL by MPK. So substituting these equations here we can see that the first terms are similar in both the numerator and denominator. So these two terms will get cancelled out. So finally we get MRTS of labor for capital as 1 minus alpha L raised to rho minus 1 by alpha K raised to rho minus 1. Now if we write this equation in K by L form then we get MRTS of labor for capital is equal to 1 minus alpha by alpha multiplied by K raised to 1 minus rho by L raised to 1 minus rho. Now again simplifying this we get 1 minus alpha by alpha multiplied by K by L the whole raised to 1 minus rho. So this is the MRTS of labor for capital. Now suppose let MRTS of labor for capital be denoted as A. Then delta MRTS of labor for capital will be delta A. Similarly let K by L be denoted as B. Then delta K by L will be denoted as delta B. Similarly let 1 by alpha by alpha be denoted as C. Then we can rewrite this above equation as A is equal to C multiplied by B raised to 1 minus rho. Now taking the log on both sides of this equation we get log a is equal to log c plus 1 minus rho log b that is we have applied two logarithmic rules here that is log x raised to n is equal to n log x and log m n is equal to log m plus log n that is in the above equation a is represented as log a then we have c multiplied by b wherein the logarithmic rule log m n is applied that is log c plus log b and b is raised to the power 1 minus rho. So for that term we have applied log x raised to n which is n log x. So that is why in front of log b we have written 1 minus rho. Now differentiating this equation partially with respect to b we get 1 by a multiplied by del a by del b equal to 1 minus rho multiplied by 1 by b. Here since log x is equal to 1 by x partially differentiating log a with respect to b we get 1 by a multiplied by del a by del b. Log c will be 0 and log b will be 1 by b that is by in the RHS we have written 1 minus rho multiplied by 1 by b. Taking this 1 by b onto the LHS we get 1 by a multiplied by del a by del b multiplied by b which is equal to 1 minus rho. This can be rewritten as b by a multiplied by del a by del b which is equal to 1 by rho. Now by taking the reciprocals of this equation on both the sides and by rearranging we get del b by del a multiplied by a by b is equal to 1 by 1 minus rho. Now here substituting a, b, del a and del b we get sigma is equal to delta k by l by delta MRTS of labor for capital multiplied by MRTS of labor for capital by k by l equal to 1 by 1 minus rho. Hence here we have proved that the elasticity of substitution
substitution for a CES production function is 1 by 1 minus rho. In CES production function, rho is the substitution parameter. So if we have the value of rho, then we can easily find out the elasticity of substitution for a CES production function. If you like the video, do subscribe to my channel and share the videos to maximum. Thank you.